Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Right, so this is part one of year two of my college experience. So, everything's in full swing. We've got college starting back with all my subjects, my acting club, work. Um, for my acting club, we know what, what show we, we're going to be doing. It's called Chicago. And I got this song stuck in my head called Mr. Cellophane. It's a fantastic song and I recommend you listen to it. It's really... You know, it's proper upbeat. It's a good song. Now, before I talk about any subject, I want to talk about my friend's 18th birthday party. It's relevant because he's in my drama, so is Shakina, and Onyx is in my media. So yeah, me, Shakina, Loki, and Onyx, uh, on the 18th of September, we all go to his house. And he said, right, originally, he said to be there at 11, but the night before, he said 11.30, like some sort of nutter who changes the plans the night before. But we were playing this game where it's like Tetris and you've got to try and get all your pieces to fit on this board, uh, try and get them to the other end and yeah. Out of pure luck I managed to win that. Um, good game. And then Onyx and Shakina showed up. We were playing this sushi game that Onyx brought in, which I found really fun. It was, it was really good. It's like got different sushi cards meaning like different things like some are like plus two points some are like you need a certain amount of these cards for certain points and it was great but by the end by the, the aim of the game is to have as many points as you can get we then go into Loki's dad's car to Cardiff I love Cardiff the culture is just amazing right, we, we walked over to the escape room center and signed in now they had a list um, of names that team names are not allowed because it's unoriginal stuff like the three mus the however many musketeers team letter stuff like that. Yeah, so here is our team in all of our four brain cell glory. That was our team name title, the four brain cells. We put our phones and bags in the safes in the lockers next to the next to the escape rooms, and we walk in. Now we were doing a saw themed one, you know. So we walk in. It was lovely and bloody, um, yeah, lovely and bloody. It was based on the film, you know, with the gruesome killings and the traps, such as this one. I do love jump cuts. I hope I grossed out a few of you. But anyways, to start off with, we were all chained up to this metal cage with a lovely rotting body with a hook in its mouth. We were told the backstory. There is a killer on the loose. The killer is kidnapping people and locking them in his basement. You have an hour to escape before they get back. <laughs> So we found the torches eventually, which were actually the kitchen sink taps and screw and we got torches. Uh, and then we found the briefcase which had the UV light in it, but the UV didn't work. So it was my idea to unscrew one of our actual torches and use the battery pack on the UV to see if that you see if we get the UV to start working. Didn't work, I just broke the second torch. So then we had to struggle in the dark to fix our second torch. And the place had to, uh, the, the, the people working there had to replace our UV torch because they just didn't have batteries. I think they were, and yeah, they, they did replace our second torch as well. There were three rooms in that escape room. The starting one took 40 minutes for us to get out of. The mini one um, took about 10 minutes to get out of, I just realised now I'm swearing. Then the last one took 30 minutes to do. Yeah, they gave us an extra 30 minutes because... Well, actually, no, I don't know why. Maybe because of the UV? Maybe they were enjoying watching us struggle? Who knows? But yeah, we, we, but we, we got out within an hour and 20 minutes, so... Pretty good of us there, I reckon. After that, we had a lovely uh, photo shoot. I bought two Polaroids. I'll show you one of them here. All right. In this one, I was going for a sort of cheeky look as my sign uh, suggested I carried the team. We escaped because of me. I don't know if you can see that. Right, so we got that one, I bought that, and on one of them it just looked really angry. This was on the digital one. The whole experience was phenomenal. So we, we go out of the escape rooms then, successful, we're a great team, and then Loki's parents uh, paid for us to have food. It was uh, amazing. We, we went to Wagamama's, right? 
which was mine and everyone else's first time, apart from Loki, who had been there before. He suggested I have the katsu as my main. And I didn't know what katsu was, but I had it. It's like a chicken curry. Uh, Shakina had the same. Onyx had noodles. We also had sides, so shrimp balls, mini pasties, and shrimp. Oh, it was so good, right? I would kill to eat there again. It was... Oh, it was delicious food. So good. And then, when we were in there, we had to use chopsticks to to eat. Um, it was nice to learn how to use chopsticks. Fair play. I was full after eating in there. I, I had my main, quite a few of the sides, and some of Onyx's noodles. We made a lovely video with that. Yeah. Do you like a yeah. video right now? <laughs> <laughs> He's really trying to acting for you now. Let's yeah. recording it. Yeah. Lovely. Glug glug. <laughs> Lovely broth. We, um, it's the it's the zooming at the end that gets me. <laughs> After our feast, we went to the shopping centre where we, we we tried boba. Now I'd never had boba before. I didn't it didn't know what it was. I just know that caramel arrow drinks it. I turn up and I have an Oreo boba with tapioca pearls. Now I didn't expect much, I'll be honest, but it was quite possibly the best drink I've ever had. It was so delicious, just like just like going to Wagon Mummers. We each had our boba and we walked back to where Loki's dad uh, takes us to the house. And then not long after, my mum picked me up. It was an outstanding day. I, I loved it so much, right? It was such, such a great experience for college and in general. So, now I'm going to go through each subject and how it's going. So we've got drama. We've been given two books. We've got The Death of Joe Egg and The Rivals. Joe Egg is for the exam, right? And for the, and the Rivals, we have to choose an extract to perform. We're starting to get into, into groups now, and we have to come up with, uh, with ideas for our performances. Now, <sighs> I'm constantly worried about the drama exam, because last year coming out of it, I was really confident I'd smashed it. But I botched it, because I got an E. Right. And uh, I'm all over the place with this exam, because I don't know how it's going to be like. I'm worried. But we've got media now, and we're beginning to look into our coursework. We have to do an opening sequence for any genre for the BBC or E4, but it's got to be creative. So I'm doing Casualty. I know quite a bit about Casualty now. Um, but partially in Welsh, so a bilingual medical drama. It's got potential. I see it working. I've got the shots in my head, the ideas I want to do. Not going to say what they are yet. But I want to see, right, I'm thinking about how I can realistically film it. Because it's not well and good having ideas, but if I can't film it, it's going to be crap. But I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to filming. And now we got Welsh. For the first time ever, I was able to see one of my exam papers. What I put in the exam last year, where I got a C. I had 53 marks. And I get it. I made quite a few errors in that exam, and I know where I went wrong. I cringed a bit, because exams do make you do all sorts of weird shit. But it's like, it's like going into sort of a uh, fight or flight response when you're in an exam. I don't know how you describe it. But also, it turns out that the mark boundaries for a C was 52 marks. I just clutched a C last year in the exam. That was scary and annoying because I tend to do crap in exams, but I'm amazing at coursework. Like, in the Welsh Oracy and the Welsh coursework, I had an A. Is that an A? It's a triangle. I had an A, right? And then in the exam, I had a C. <sighs> but now we've got Welsh back. There's nothing to add there. We're still just working on our personal project. Now, I want to say that getting back into college this year has actually been quite tough. I don't know if it's due to my panicking or the amount of work I've had to do, but I was losing quite a bit of motivation to do work and I've been worrying about the exams a bit. Right? 
but I think I'm getting better, keeping up on track. I am considering quitting my job because I'm going to have acting, which is severely more important, and so is college, right? It doesn't matter if I'm fired from McDonald's. It matters if I do good in, if I do good in college, and my and my acting club. So yeah. In the scheme of things, McDonald's holds very, 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 very low priority to me. Right next to keeping my room organised and getting a girlfriend. Not important. Oh, gobble. At all. There is a side to it, though. The money I do need for university and driving lessons, because that's all next year, I imagine. That's all next year. The best way I can describe it is like one of them stretchy doll things where you grab each limb to the extreme and you get pulled as far out as you can. It's like that. But as long as I do good in college and acting first, things will be alright. You know? Priorities list in college, acting, millions of other things first, McDonald's. But that is my college experience so far. Bit of a rocky start. It's had its ups, you know, having this 18th birthday party, having, having Loki's 18th birthday party, going there, whacking my the escape room, Boba. That has been the best thing to happen in college so far yet. Uh, it's going to be quite hard for anything in college to beat that. One of the worst things, because I don't know if anyone's watching, I uploaded a video about, about some of the weirdest things that ever happened in McDonald's. Someone watched that and told the boss, um, I'm not in trouble, but now we know that there is a snitch watching. But now we know, we know that someone from work is a snitch and watches, so I better be careful what I say. My so um, today I've had Welsh 12 till 2, uh, a bit of a quiet day there. Um, after Welsh, we're gonna have Welsh back, but it was online because you will still had some of the work from, from last year to do. Right. And then, um, but because not, not many turned up, I went to the classroom and got some more work done. So I'm actually quite far ahead now in Welsh back, which is very good. Um, I've got a lot more to do so. That's gonna be nice. So uh, I can panic. I can panic a lot more on my other subjects and not Welsh back because I've done so much of it already, which is a bit of a relief. Uh, it's waiting to get the bus now. We walk to the bus station and I can go home. But that's the thing, though. Welsh back. It's not the best subject, but it's an easy subject. It's easy in, in the content, but it's a bit difficult because it's so long. But yeah, all good.